For the entire 1,000-year-long history of Ukrainian Orthodoxy, Ukrainians have been fighting for the independence of their church. In 1299, Kyiv stopped being the seat of the Kievan Rus Metropolitan. In 1686, the Kyiv Metropolitan See fell under the rule of the Moscow Patriarchy, transferred for a bribe of just 200 golden coins. Even after Ukraine became an independent country in 1991, all efforts to create a united local church were fruitless. Russian aggression in the Donbass and the illegal annexation of Crimea in 2014 cast the issue of an independent Ukrainian church from Moscow into the forefront once again. And in 2018, the struggle finally reached its final stage. On April 9, 2018, the Ukrainian parliament supported President Petro Poroshenko's formal request to the economical patriarch Bartholomew in Constantinople about providing Thomas, which would grant autocephaly to the Ukrainian church. Then, on September 7, the ecumenical patriarch Bartholomew sent two excerpts who started preparing the transfer of the document granting the independence to the Ukrainian church. On October 11th, the Synod of the Ecumenical Patriarchate started the process of creating a united Ukrainian autocephalous church. Constantinople reaffirmed its determination to give Thomas, which would end the Moscow Patriarchate's control over the Kyiv Metropolitan. The Ecumenical Patriarch also lifted the anathema from the Patriarch of Kyiv and the entire Rus-Ukraine filaret that was put down by Moscow Church. These decisions have stirred up strong opposition from Moscow. On the 15th of October, the Holy Synod of the Russian Orthodox Church of the Moscow Patriarchate severed all ties with Constantinople. Later, the Ukrainian Orthodox Church of the Moscow Patriarchate followed in the same footsteps. In this way, they have in fact banned their clergy from taking part in the unification synod in Kyiv. At the end of November, the Holy Synod of the Ecumenical Patriarch approved the text of Thomas and prepared the statute for the Ukrainian Autocephalous Orthodox Church. And finally, on December 15th, a metropolitan was elected to become the first metropolitan in a newly independent Ukrainian church. And it will be he who receives the Thomas on January 6th, 2019. Reported by Yulia Kruchkova, UATV.